I'm Dr. Sharita Golden, Vice President and Chief Diversity Officer for Johns Hopkins Medicine. We created this educational series for you on the COVID-19 vaccine because we want you, our employees, to be able to make the most informed decisions for yourself. We have gathered experts across our organization to contribute to this video series, and we welcome you to watch either the entire series or just those components that are most relevant to you. Thank you. I'm going to start with talking about the stages of vaccine development because we hear a lot about them in the news and I just wanna make sure that everybody's on the same page. Um, when we have a new vaccine, we start with phase one trials and these are small trials in a few tens of people or a few dozen people. And the primary, safe, the primary purpose of this vaccine study is to make sure that the vaccines are safe. Um, we also wanna look at their immune response. Usually these take um, one to two years to complete. And I'll talk about in the next slide why, um, how we've managed to speed this up so quickly. Um, once a vaccine has been shown to be safe and have a good immune response, we move to a phase two study, which is again, um, a small study, but it moves up to hundreds of people. Um, in this study, we're looking primarily at safety, again, to look at less common side effects. We're looking at see what the right dose is, how, off, how big of a time period there should be between doses if you need more than one dose. And then we also want to look at the immune response again to sort of get a hint of whether or not we think this vaccine will work. And then if a vaccine looks like it's safe and has a good immune response in phase two, and then it might be um, a good vaccine to move forward to um, eff effectiveness studies, then we move into phase three studies, which are efficacy studies. And we usually do this in tens of thousands of people. We immunize lots of people in order to see whether or not the vaccine is going to work. Usually these vaccine, these studies are done as placebo controlled. So a group of people get a vaccine and a group of people get a placebo. And we look to see whether or not they develop um, any illness or any of the disease in, um, in those two groups. And we look and see at efficacy. We want to see that most people who get sick from the disease we're trying to prevent get sick in the placebo group and very few people are getting sick in the, in the vaccine group. Usually um, these trials take years to do and the reason is they're incredibly expensive trials to do. And we also want to follow people for a very long time to see how long a vaccine is likely to be effective, how long it's likely to work. Um, once a vaccine has been shown to be safe, and effective in a phase three trial, then the manufacturer can apply to the FDA or the regulatory agency for licensure. Um, and even after licensure, the FDA will often say, well, now you have a licensed vaccine, you're gonna give it to a lot more people. We wanna make sure that the vaccine continues to be as effective as it seems to be in the trials. And we also wanna make sure that the vaccine continues to be safe as you're giving it to many more people. And so the FDA and then the CDC are also involved in following new vaccines for several years to make sure that vaccines continue to be safe and effective. And we'll talk about that. <clears throat> 